Yale ba Mambo Kapkap chi ba Gerwich Mambo Gilo Gung Gung Gilo Narang Wedigaya ba Wamba Wamba Jarling Yapa ba Kapkap Chia Warek Nyang a Jilang Wedigaya Ek Limek Ek And what that means is peace and welcome friends to create, love, make and do. To understand and know Wedigaya Wamba Wamba language, ancestors and family. I speak my language and my art practice is my inheritance. My name's Kali Kumalatsos and I'm a Wedigaya Wamba Wamba woman through my mum, Eleanor Burke, and I'm also a Scottish descendant through my mum and my father's Greek. I predominantly identify as an Aboriginal Greek person. I'd like to acknowledge that we're on Wadaran country here today, filming this in my studio in Leopold, which is on the Bellarine. I'd like to acknowledge the community of the Wadarung people. I'd like to acknowledge their elders, past, present and future, and thank them for making me welcome on this country. For Melbourne now, I have made a black Victorian dress dated back to the late 1800s, early 1900s. It is a dress that is made of tissue paper that has been printed on with possum fur. As somebody that's been trained in fine arts and did printmaking, I adapted the possum fur as something that I can use as a plate to print with to get the impression of fur on the dress. The dress is actually a portrait of my great grandmother. There are some really sad photographs of Aboriginal people wearing European dresses. In my collection of photographs, there are some really beautiful photographs. The women look so proud, so strong, so determined. And I think that's part of my desire to represent these women in those times. That's really important that we acknowledge that even back then, their resilience shows in the photographs. They completely owned what they were wearing, but there is no doubt that they were extremely proud of their heritage and that they did live in both worlds. It's actually about living in both cultures and owning it. I've always loved fashion. I've always loved textiles. And most of all, my connection with possum cloaks has been central to my practice right from the beginning, going back 35 years. So I've kept my love of possum skins and connected the garments that they used to wear with the garments Granny and her contemporaries did wear with the Victorian clothing because they are elegant and beautiful. This work's motivated by an overall desire to reclaim stories and knowledge about Aboriginal people and my ancestors. Aboriginal people's identity is still intact regardless of the taking of land, the prevention of speaking language, and the prevention of them wearing traditional clothing. I think it's quite an important story to tell, and we need to celebrate these people. <laughs>